AJ Hilo is a standalone H.264 streaming and recording device designed by AJ Video Systems. It is used for streaming live and recording your video and audio sources. And in this video, I'll show you how Skahoy integrate Hilo control into our products. In the example today, we have an AirFly and this AirFly controller has the Hilo control in this section with six buttons in the upper left corner. The way this is integrated, you can see that from the UI here, this is Reactor, the UI of AirFly Pro. And it looks very much the same for many of our other products. And some of these products, they have a section dedicated to what we call quick classes. And you can see I've dropped in support for AJ Hilo Plus in this section of these buttons. Actually, I could add others if I just open this configuration, you can see that there is a long list of things that we can control from ATEMs, from KROS, from NetIO, power devices, etc. And all these can easily be dropped into this section, just like we did with the Hilo today. The focus is not so much on how we can set up the quick class, but also how the Hilo works and what we can control. So let's get to that. On the home screen of this quick class integration, you find a button for starting and stopping recording and streaming. So let's just press and hold this one. And you can see we are now recording. If I press and hold this one, we are now streaming. And if I link these two together, then they will also start and stop together. So you may wonder what about this home key? Actually, this is a paging button. It will take you through uh, three different settings for this configuration. So on the second one, we have settings. And if we go to the config page in the Hilo web UI, you see this is essentially giving you access to what is likely the most interesting parameters for you to change. Namely, what is the video source? Is it HDI? Is it HDMI? Currently, I'm supplying the same source on both, so it, we couldn't care less. Is it the one or the other audio stream on the SDI that we are using or not? So this can be paged through on this button here for um, our inputs. All right, so uh, on this one, we also have a change between media state, which can be either record stream or data LAN. So you if you are an owner of the Hilo Plus, you'll know what these things mean. And you will also know and probably appreciate presets. And presets is a function in the Hilo also that allows you to store these settings across. Um, so with these five presets we can access, I can, for instance, store the settings we just set up in the configuration here uh, with HDMI and SDI 1 and 2. I could store that on preset number four by pressing and holding. Now, if I change over to something else like that, and this would go for everything that is included in a preset in Hilo, I would now be able to recall it by a short press on preset four, like I just did, and it goes back to this setting. So that's the Hilo control, and it is so simple to just integrate it into Reactor for any product that has quick class support. You can just throw that into that little section, and it will take over these six buttons. Adding the Hilo itself is also super easy. You see the list of devices we are connected to currently, an ATEM switcher and the Hilo. It has an IP address. No wonder if you click that, by the way, you are thrown straight into the web UI of the Hilo. And if you click the title of it, you can set it up, change that IP address if you need to. Thanks for watching this video. Please consider to like and subscribe if you appreciate our content and our products. We would love to answer any questions you have. And posting them here in the comments section is not such a bad idea. So feel free to do that or any other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram or X. A good old fashioned email is also not too bad. So you can write to sales at or support at And we will be happy to assist you.